Welcome to Baden-Württemberg, a beautiful state in southwest Germany, where quantum technology is shaping our future. Together, we are going to dive into a world of innovations and witness how tiny particles make a big impact. Let's meet Daniel at IBM. Hi, I'm Daniel. I do work at IBM, which is here in our headquarter, close to Stuttgart. And by the way, this is the place where we have this beautiful quantum computer. So for us at IBM, innovation is key. We are a global technology company. We do work with our clients on exciting projects in AI, hybrid cloud, and of course, in quantum computing. So the IBM ecosystem is an essential part for us. And I can tell you that we have the most extensive quantum network in the world. Exciting. Let's continue and meet David. He will tell us about the current potential of quantum computing. Hi, I work in IBM's research and development laboratory. Quantum computing is at the verge of fulfilling its full potential. We see a huge speed in the development and how customers and organizations use quantum computing. In the near future, we will also see quantum computers clustered together in forms of a data center to maximize the impact and also allow customers to solve more complex problems with them. So when I think about my personal tech highlight, this is obviously that we were able to bring the first commercially usable quantum computer here to Baden-Württemberg in collaboration with Fraunhofer. And this collaboration is also laying the ground for the next step that we will be taking. We will be opening up a new quantum data center here in Baden-Württemberg, which will help us to even broaden the access and explore even additional use cases in the near future. Amazing. Now we're up to speed with the industry's current state. Let's go even further and meet Christian. He's going to talk to us through the research in the field of quantum computing. Yeah, my name is Christian Dutschke. I'm head of team quantum computing at the Fraunhofer I.O. have a strong background in theoretical solid state physics. We at the Fraunhofer I.O. develop application-oriented algorithms. So we have a computer dedicated where we can develop algorithms, software for industrial use cases. One of the main goals of Fraunhofer is to enable the industry using quantum technology, especially quantum computing. And today, in the so-called NISC era, we develop with the industry so-called POCs, proof of concepts, small parts of a bigger problem which we can potentially solve very efficiently. Yeah, within the last several years we did great progress, great research, not only by the organizations like the University of Stuttgart or Fraunhofer, also by the industry, the IBM for example, or by the startups via Quant. So all together we join our forces in realizing a fruitful future and in the end hopefully a quantum advantage. Yeah, the quantum effects was a milestone, a message out in the world that BW, Baden-Württemberg, is actually on the stage and comparison to the world of quantum in Munich, we have our own fear, very important for the entire ecosystem, coming together, showing what we're developing and doing research, not isolated, no, but together. When it comes to funding in Baden-Württemberg, for the last several years, both the economics and the science ministry funded in a great way the research on quantum applications, quantum computing. Now, lately, we also have now an initiative called Quantum BW, which promotes heavily the way towards quantum advantage in the entire ecosystem. Wow, we've learned a lot about the industry and the endless possibilities in this field. But one question remains. How does one even become a professional in the field of quantum technology? My name is Stefanie Batz. I'm a professor at the University of Stuttgart and a director of the Center for Integrated Quantum Science and Technology. So how do you become a quantum scientist? Well, there are many ways to do so. You can study physics, computer science, engineering, photonics, and by all these fields, you can specialize in quantum physics, quantum technologies, and in such a way become a quantum scientist. Here at the University of Stuttgart, we perform a lot of fundamental research. So we try to understand quantum systems themselves, for example, in physics, but also in engineering, photonics, chemistry, and in computer science. IQST stands for Center for Integrated Quantum Science and Technology, and it's a big network of researchers at universities in Baden-Württemberg. IQST has three main goals. The first is to ask new questions and to perform groundbreaking fundamental research at the board of different disciplines. The second is to find new solutions, so the research applications of quantum technologies. 
And the third is to foster a quantum-ready society, being to educate the public policymakers and also students on quantum technologies. Thanks for your insight, Stephanie. Now we know how quantum scientists of the future are trained. After graduating, many people start working in the industry or in research, but some also work for high-tech startups. Let's take a closer look at one of them. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm the founder and CEO of Quant. The vision of Quant is to merge the real and the digital world to improve our daily life. To realize our vision, we are pushing the limits of data processing and data generation, or in simple worlds, we develop novel sensors and novel computing processors. A good example is our human-machine interface. Here, we exploit the quantum nature of diamond to realize a very high-sensitive magnetic field sensor. This sensor is so sensitive that it can capture the magnetic fields as they are generated by the nerves in our human body. And currently we are working together with our partners on the first application, a human-machine interface that gives disabled people a natural control on their prosthetics. For me, Baden-Württemberg is a relevant location for quantum technologies in three dimensions. First of all, because of its very strong scientific ecosystem with outstanding universities. Second, because it has a strong supplier ecosystem, especially in the field of microelectronics. And third, it's the mid-sized and enterprise companies that can act as potential customers of the future. Thanks, Michael, for sharing those fascinating insights. We hope your company can push further with these innovations. Let's discover what makes this region even more remarkable. My highlight in Baden-Württemberg is the strong fundamental research. The European Quantum Data Center. The ecosystem around quantum sensing and computing. How many players are active around quantum technology and help us attract even more talented brains. That it happens from time to time, so frequently, that in the lunch break you meet somebody who teaches you something new. We hope now you're captivated by quantum technology and want to discover more about the remarkable innovations unfolding right here in Baden-Württemberg. Here you can find out more.